Hey guys, what's up? It's Greg. I'm Jeremy Ryan doing today. Um, this is a review on the series, uh, He-Man, um, well, pretty much all, um, story as a whole. Um, basically the story is about this, uh, prince named Adam, and he's the friend of this, uh, magical man called Eternia. But, um, he and his family are protected of this, uh, ancient castle, um, called, uh, Grayskull, and they have to protect it from the evil forces of Skeletor. But then, uh, one day, Adam comes to grab this, uh, sword he, sword he gets from the ma magical witch that protects the castle's entrances and keeps the secrets of the elders locked away, um, not only in the castle, but in their own gods, because it's only this, this uh, sorcerer that's been trudging with the secrets, and, um, she gives Adam the sword, and, uh, basically all he has to do is hold it up to the sky and say, by the power of Grayskull, and then he turns into this hero called Eman. Now, now the now um, the really cool thing that adds a lot of mystery to the plot is um um it it's only uh two people or three people I do that know that know who he man really is the witch herself um uh, the kingdom's magician. And the and the kingdom one of the kingdom royal gods. Um, now how Skeletor comes in to the uh, story is uh, he's uh, always trying to steal the secrets of Castle Grayskull and uh, kill the king. And uh, he man always uh, gets in the way. Um, now this show that I. This show had, um, two incarnations, um, TV incarnations, I mean, um, the 1993 version and the 2002 version, my favorite of the two being the 2002 version, I think it just gave it a bit more of an intense flair. I'm, I'm not bashing the 93 version or anything, but for those of you that haven't given even a good world, I would suggest giving the 2002 version a try. So yeah, anyway guys, uh, that's bad for this one. So until we see you today again, okay, thank you, mom, not yeah.